What's up everybody? This is Steve. Today we're going to do a demonstration of the Starve pedal. We've had a lot of questions about how exactly do you use a Starve pedal. We've got one here. Uh, very simple circuit design. Uses one potentiometer, a couple of power inputs here, and a resistor that I install to set the uh, maximum amount of Starve that you'll get. You will need a couple of other things. You'll need a boss adapter. It's just a 9-volt adapter that was running into the Rot Your Brain that you heard in the beginning there. And you'll need one of these connector cables that you use for hooking up multiple cables. You don't need to have this one that's, you know, you can hook 10 up with this, but you will need to have at least that much. And I'll show you how to hook this up. You're just going to take your star pedal. Your power is going to go into the right side of it. And that is, of course, plugged into the wall right now. You're going to take one of your little jumpers here. That'll go on the left hand side and we should hear the rot your brain come back up again as I plug that into the power input of the rot your brain. And back to life. Now let's twist the starve knob. That is the most starved position, and let's increase the voltage again. And just do a little variation with the rot your brain here. Absolutely my favorite pedal to use a Starve device on. The Starve will work differently on every effect pedal that you try it on. Some will not have any effect, unfortunately. Others will sound wonderful, like with our Rot Your Brain here. I thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.